Wednesday here and welcome to the Star Wars Pinball Overview. Somehow I'm containing my excitement, not for this game that we're reviewing, but next week releases seems to be the most exciting time of this whole year so far for me. Essentially I feel like when we were watching the gaming showcase, the announcements were kinda underwhelming, but what's actually coming in the whole month of May is just awesome like the time seems to be finally picking up with just exciting stuff i feel like so far we had just okay i guess games but like comparing to the last year not many like big hits which would become a staple in the quest library but i just can't wait for the next week so star wars pinball is literally what it is a pinball simulator in star wars universe star wars mascots just everything from that franchise there's not much to explain because simulations like that focus on purely on one mechanic with this one it seems like they added another layer of immersion which to me seems like the coolest quest environment that you would have in Oculus Home. I'm personally not a pinball player, I know how to play, but like the only memories I would have would be involved with this basic pinball game on Windows XP. I don't know how they did it in the trailer, but somehow the actual environment that you spend your time in, ignoring the pinball machine, looks way cooler and just more interesting to discover what's actually in there, just basically diverting from the promise of this title. I'm pretty sure it's catering to Star Wars fans, which I'm not, it's not like I hate the franchise but it was just never my thing I guess. Like the first time I saw this game announced for Quest I was like why is it even coming up? For what purpose? Since we have pinball games already. For who? Because it is a niche audience. So initially I was just shitting on the game. But again somehow when I rewatched the trailer one time I'm like okay whatever it's just another pinball game. Second time eh, okay it has some cool features I guess. Third time I'm like this actually might not be that bad. <laughs> for some reason it seems very charming in a way that it brings back a nostalgia from like the 90s from the arcades that you would go out with your friends to play the machines and just hang out basically. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna have this feature now on the release but making this game multiplayer in a way that you would hang out with your pals in a Star Wars environment with a pinball machines I feel like would be a selling point to the whole project so maybe it's gonna go that way but like I can't shit on the game not playing it so as much as I'm confused on the concept itself there were games that I was proven otherwise and the gameplay was actually fun so let's see what this offering. Oh. <laughs> the points you earn will contribute towards either the dark or the light side. I don't care. Let's do the light side, whatever. <laughs> to start a table, walk to the pinball cabinet and select the desired table's icon. You can play career mode by activating the TV, like a campaign or something? Okay. If you feel comfortable in the environment and prefer free movement over teleporting. Okay, so there's gonna be like settings then. Ooh, where is it? <laughs> you can unlock music by playing the pinball tables. Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> oh my god, I want Cantina actually. No, I'm gonna get those 5 million now. If it's the last thing I'll do. I need to change the settings. I didn't listen. <laughs> I think in the TV it's here. Here we go. Controls, movement type, locomotion, discrete turning. What does that even mean? <laughs> what about we do disabled and let's do that like now. Okay, but like <laughs> the wording on it is very weird. It doesn't say it's like smooth turning or something. Okay. Oh, we are um, Hi, uh, I don't know. What's your name? <laughs> I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I don't know what's happening. You can unlock various decorations by playing the pinball tables. Okay, 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 okay. Achievements. Oh, can we go out actually? No. <laughs> well, I mean, at least we are not defenseless here. <laughs> is it the moon or is it the sun? Who knows? We're actually like in the Star Wars cave or whatever. Upstairs. Oh, we can't go upstairs. Okay, let's just play. So, <laughs> what do I actually remember? <laughs> I watched, I think, every Star Wars, but I'm not sure which ones are which ones. I watched the originals, like from 1 to 6. I don't know those four in the top at all. Episode 4? Well, classic moment, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, wait, he's here and the Death Star is here. Choose your skill shot. I'm ready for anything. Okay, like that. This nice. Really save my next. <laughs> Come on. No reward is worth this. They're reacting to what's happening here on the board.
I need this cantina song. To get copyrighted, <laughs> of course. I need 5 million, right? Where's like the score? Focus multiplier increased. Oh. Cut them. Now, your greatness, we will discuss the location of your hidden rebel base. Just as I expected. Mm, the environment is not really changing. Poster and carbal posters. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'll just do again then. I feel like slowly I'm like spiraling. <laughs> like why am I actually playing a pinball game? <laughs> I thought there's like more happening, honestly. Some cool sound effects and just that's it. I feel like there would be like some explosions or whatever. Which maybe there will, but like down the line then. Maybe I'll lower myself to just have a view here. It's not how you would play pinball. <laughs> Okay, that works. Then maybe it's better to just sit down. <laughs> I love like the detail, but like the trailer showed the tables with such low quality. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> such low quality, but like inside the headset, actually the details on the buildings are just small fragments. It's actually fine. This is actually high quality. They kind of piss themselves with the trailer. Oh, what the hell? I changed the view suddenly. Oh no, this is wrong <laughs> for VR. Uh -huh. Definitely not. Oh, I have 8 million. Okay, Ben can be deaf. Wait. Oh my god, I have to play a concrete one. Classic collectibles. Sure, we have to play something else then. Classic collectibles. So it's gonna be this one. So what's an arcade mode then? Force powers and talents. Oh, here we go. Some variety. Force powers and talents are powerful tools that you can use to gain an advantage while playing. You can unlock and upgrade several force powers and talents by collecting and spending shards of them. Okay, I have zero, so I can't spend them. This is like a variety of gameplay here. <laughs> oh, what the hell is having here? <laughs> Figurines? So I need 5 million as well. Anything for Cantina Sang. This table is hard because it doesn't have a lot of bonuses. I feel like this game is like mostly for easter eggs. I'm pretty sure there are small details that I don't notice because I'm not like a huge fan of Star Wars. But I am assuming because you know this, someone would know what is this or maybe this sculpture. I don't know like it seems like there's a lot of details that I'm missing. Which is fair, I mean not everyone's like a diehard fan, that's it. Whoa, what was that? 10 million? Thank you! <laughs> I didn't need to play more than that. <laughs> that was so random. Cantina band. <laughs> I can listen to it all the time. <laughs> now we're playing. Let's do now. Maybe Rogue One. I think this is the freshest from the franchise. I think. I have no idea. What is it exactly? Speed. Slow down the game. Multiplies the end score for limited time. Misdirection. Battle meditation. Protect focus. Okay, so there are like additional kind of powers that you can use. Oh! You turn off the music? No! <laughs> I'll check out this last table. What is it about? Oh, hello? Use it to score a super skill shot. Do it better. Well, I'm bored. <laughs> At least the death animations are cool. I think I get some posters, right? Decoration, so this one? Oh, 
looks like high quality. I can clearly see like the details of the ink and stuff. I'm not kidding, <laughs> like actually. <laughs> what do we have here? Do we have coffee? Do we have anything? Wait, there's no fridge, no bar. What the hell? What is this? Like, is it this racer? No. Actually, I saw like in the trailer they have some kind of mini games, but I'm not sure where I can find it. I want to call him Jabba the Hutt, but I don't think it was him. Oh, actually it was him because there's a song about the Maya, dog of PewDiePie. That's how I remember this character. <laughs> Hello my dude! It literally seems like an extended version of Oculus Home where you can just put posters on the walls and just decorate your environment. So we had campaign, I remember. Operation... Oh, it's like challenges with score and stuff. Oh, it's like a Mandalorian theme. <laughs> I mean, I will actually get fast this score, so give me a minute or two. I didn't watch Mandalorian. I feel like I'm so out of the loop of watching films in general. Wait, isn't this a series actually? <laughs> I have no idea what the storyline or what's going on. I know this little guy because the memes on the internet were quite um, an event. It was just everywhere. Baby Yoda. What? What's happening here? Oh my god, <laughs> the scoring went through the roof. Slap them. Oh my god. Do not self destruct. Cover me. Well, I completed the challenge, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, I wanna see those force powers. So, I got three. What do we unlock? I guess multiply the score should be fun. Or you can as well as just upgrade it. Okay, fine. I'm not sure. Like, when I read the descriptions, every force power is kinda meh. You have to hit the certain spot on the table to activate it. I thought it's gonna be like, you do it yourself. Let's do maybe this, misdirection and uh, focus I feel like is gonna be fine. Do not change the music. I want Cantina. Thank you. So to just see the powers, let's do Rebels and Arcade. You are free to use any methods necessary. These Rebels are getting strong. Oh. The Jedi are dead. But there is another part. Welcome. The dark side. No, this whole mission thing is nuts. <laughs> Give me the ball. <laughs> I have encountered a rebel cell. So I think a little something. when you see this spot here, like near the spaceship, the blue fog here. So what does okay, it do? <laughs> you got me. I give up. Ezra. Working on it. Or maybe it was just like two trigger a storyline. Okay, whatever. I feel like this game is a haven for collector people. Like folk who actually loves to collect, you know, figurines or just like certain Easter eggs to put like as a display or just like kind of decoration here. Helmets, posters, anything Star Wars related. It's pretty much that to just have an amazing house of your dreams if you're into that franchise. Personally, I think it's just okay to me. Like I'm not a pinball player. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan and I'm not a big collectible person either. So it's like me missing all the points in my taste so it works well and the environment kinda adds to the experience of just normal paintball so for the fans of those features it's definitely a hit but it's okay I mean at least there's Candina song like this is my favorite thing from Star Wars definitely this song time to move on <laughs>